Hey, welcome everyone. Uh, just getting here. Like I said, we're about to start. Uh, we'll go go to. We've got three tornado warnings apparently in Arkansas. Well, two now. I'm going to pull them up. I'm also going to turn on the micro the radio traffic we got going right now, and that way we can. Go ahead and listen to some of that that's going on because they're talking about seeing rotation and seeing other, um, some damage. So I'm going to turn that up. Let me know how it works, how loud it is. Welcome to the Arkansas River Valley. K5PXP. Go ahead. PL code 131.8. We have extensive. Net control, this is Kilo Juliet 5, Yankee Uniform. Uh, show me the with the warning located on the top of Linker Mountain. All right. In the WSB3, pull it here. So we got three tornado run warnings. I'm going to start down here with this one. River, uh, for the, for Vogue County. 229, DuPont Lane for a tree on house. There are no injuries. Do I hear the radio traffic? Okay. As of right now, a tornado warning remains in effect until 8 p.m. Central Daylight Time for Northwestern Yale County. That's also a county that I've got going on public safety dispatch. It's still radar indicated. We'll look at the velocity. Slide down to this one. Uh, National Weather Service, Little Rock issued a tornado warning from Northeastern Logan, Northeastern Yale, Central Polk County until 8 15 Central Daylight Time. Um, there's no updates on GR Level 3. You either got to start polling or you got to um, um, polling. That's the only way to get it going. Um, there's no actual updates or go to the website and see if you got the actual secondary update on that. There is a TVS marker on the, this tornado warning. Well, the depth of velocity is 43 knots. Maximum depth of velocity is 71 knots. Base height is 5,000 feet. Depth is less than, greater than 10,000 feet on that one. We'll go get this tornado one in here near Mountain Home. Tornado warning remains in effect till 8 p.m. Central Day at time for northeastern Baxter County. These are all radar indicated at the moment. This is the all three we got um, going. I just want to hit them real quick here before we go to GR2. Let me go to the base velocity and look for the couplets. And now this one, I don't see much rotation on this one. Like I said, it should be in Darnell, Net, Darnell 930, at 8.33, Russellville at 8.40, Pottsville at 8.48. This one should be in Dover by 8.04. I mean, 9.04, yeah, 8.04, and Hector by 8.09. And they just issued a flash flood warning for this area until 1045 Central Daylight Time. Let's look at correlation coefficients if we see anything. That's probably nothing but radar holding the radar. I don't see anything on that one at the moment. That one right there. So, hey Victor. Hey, Victor. 
Okay, we're going to swap over to GR2. And go to it. Yes, we do have a conf we have a confirmed tornado in Logan. I mean, the tornado warning remains in effect till 8 p.m. for northeastern Baxter County. Um, a confirmed tornado was located near Phone Pack Phone. Park or seven miles northeast of Mountain Home, moving northeast at 40 miles per hour. Public confirmed tornado at this time. We do have a confirmed tornado. We'll get the 3D on this. A weird warning. Oh, just give it a second. Swap it over. Here we go. I just got Baxter Fire Department. Zion Hill, etc. should take cover. That covers most of the northeast so. Oak County. Over. Uh, Bear with me one second. Kyle, this is Sheriff's Dispatching everything right now. I do have sky one going right now. Thanks for the report, K5 BHS. Let's see. Uh, we do have a tornado war a new tornado warning down here. Um, tornado war for north central east central Dogan, Logan County, East Central Yale, and Southwestern Pope, all in central Arkansas until eight fifteen. Central Daylight Time, uh, 7.52, a, se a severe thunderstorm was located. Se severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Mount Nebo State Park or 10 miles west of Russellville, moving northeast at 40 miles per hour. Locations impacted include Russellville, Pottsville, Lake Darnell State Park, 
Lake Darnell, Chickala, Darnella, Mount Nebo, Mosley, and Delaware. And I 40 between mile markers 81 and 88. New confirm, confirm, confirm tornado warning. Tornado warning for Baxter County in Northeast Arkansas and Northwestern Fulton County in North Central Arkansas until 8.15 Central Daylight Time. At 7.55 Central Daylight Time, a confirmed tornado was located over Gamaliel Landing or 12 miles northeast of Mountain, Mountain Home moving northeast at 40 miles per hour. This is a damaging confirmed tornado by public. Locations impacted include Ott, Gamaliel, Henderson, Gamaliel Landing, Vedette, and Norfolk Lake. Report a tornado is on the ground. Take cover now. Get to your safe spot immediately. Full 3D up on this. We'll see if it's got any better than what it was a while ago. Still a small area of rotation. Um, what I'm looking at. I don't know if they called it a PDS yet. It's not a tornado emergency. Um, let me check something. They're just saying tornado was observed right now. They haven't changed anything since PDS. But any tornado warning that has been any tornado warning is dangerous. I think me and James Foster stayed up till five o'clock this morning, Eastern time, and we're gonna probably be up at late again tonight. Hope not, but it's possible. Let's see if we see something on Corliss Coefficient. I really don't see anything on Corliss Coefficient right now in that area. I'm going to change radar sites for that one. Still not showing much on rotation. They've dropped one of the confirmed tornado warnings. Turn this to base velocity. You can see here. We're on Bakersfield, a little bit of rotation right there. Let's see if it gives me a better. Yeah, we'll go to KSFG, see if we get a better look at it. Yeah, there we go. Right here's your main area of rotation. Let me grab a 3D view of it. Still not much on Enright.
by BHS Net Control. The National Weather uh, Service has moved uh, the tornado warnings and watch further northeast. Um, that still crosses from Boonville uh, up to Hector. And Hector should be starting to experience uh, even more high winds again. The second okay, cell Bella. behind it, they are indicating a cell that's going to break south. Uh, we'll watch it closely if it comes towards Russellville. This is K5 VHS Net Control. Okay, Hector. Which one is Hector, Bella? Welcome to the Arkansas River Valley. K five P X P repeater. Okay. P L code one. Right, I'm gonna swing down here with this real quick. Yeah, I see a good TVS sign right here near Hector. I do have a TVS marker right there. Yeah, there's the tornado right there on 3D. So here's your 3D view of it once it comes up. I'm lagging a little bit behind. So give me a minute because I got the stream, the stream does that. VHS weather net control. Uh, it looks like uh, there's not much rotation in this system, but there is a lot of energy. There's a lot of rainfall, a lot of wind. We're still under a tornado watch, and so it is from uh, Boonville uh, northeast to Hector. The entire area. We're going to do the, uh, the cross section and, uh, the right here. Remember that TVS marker is? Like, uh, Let's see if we see anything. Uh, getting out of the most, the worst of it here. K5 VHS net control. Correlation coefficient. K5 VHS. K5 VHS. K5 VHS. I'm watching it move on the radar. We don't see things. That's over with a little bit of wind, and that's about all we had. After that, I appreciate the report. K5 VHS and net control. I'm looking to see if I see anything being locked up. I really don't see anything being lofted unless that's some right there, a little bit right there, but I don't think it is. Yeah, a lot of these were rain route last night that, that occurred last night. We still got that one tornado warning. We got a report here. Um, damage reported at Bruno at a school, they have damage to a school being reported now by a spotter. Bruno 
Pyatt School has actually got damage being reported in Marion County, Arkansas. So there is damage with that one tornado. Um, 68 mile per hour wind gusts are being reported also by a train spotter in Baxter County, Arkansas, near Mountain Home. So these have got some damaging winds along with the tornadoes. I don't see any debris ball at this moment. Goodness, I just took a lightning strike here in New Blaine. Looking, I'm looking on Coral Ace Go Fish on my the largest part of the cell laptop. Laptop. Over Wish the I get radar right scope to work. Moving through, uh, Nothing on that one. There may be a spot on the back corner. Light green. Near London. This is K5 PXP, the Arkansas River Valley Amateur Radio Foundation repeater, located yeah. on Mount Nebo. Here where the rotation is, maybe a couple spots. That might be also radar. Too. Radar interference. So I'm looking on. Omaha, Nebraska, Castle Bluffs. Okay. Yeah, it's probably radar interference right here in this area. What I was looking at. But you got probably sixty mile per hour winds going away from it. And approximately 20 mile per hour winds in. So we've probably got an 88, 80 mile per hour gate to gate shear in this area around Hector where they just extended the tornado warning. Um, National Weather Service has issued a tornado warning for central Van Buren County, north central Conway, east central Pope until 9 p.m. Central Daylight Time at 8.08. A large, extremely dangerous tornado was located near Hector, or 21 miles northeast of Russellville, moving northeast at 40 miles per hour. This is a PDS tornado. Um, we have got a PDS tornado at this moment, morning. Um, locations impacted include Clinton, Beverage Town, Brock Creek Campground, Rupert, Scotland, Chill Pepper, Appleton, All Red, uh, Buttonburg, Crabtree, Mountain Man Trailhead. Like I said, this is a PDS radar indicated tornado at this time, but considerable damage is imminent. We'll get a um, 3D view of it. I'm going to leave that up for a second. I'm going to do something. We're now, we're now back above ground again. Appreciate you guys uh, pitching in. Uh, Roger that. Would I be uh, too crass to uh, shove this responsibility back off onto you, sir? No, I, I think maybe it's found a good place. Uh, 
Tonight has shown me that some things have changed with us. The child bride and I are getting older. And if I have to make a choice between going to the bunker, leaving the wife at home, or staying at home, going to the If you got a shelter, wife, take shelter now. I'm going to stay at home with the wife. We're probably looking for a new weather net controller. Uh, either you or David could have handled it very well, or did handle it well. Cool. Send pictures in Discord. I do have a debris ball. We do have a debris ball now. Right here. Debris is being lofted at this time. Let me go to correlation coefficient on zero on WSP3. I know we got another tornado warning. There's a the, uh, National Weather Service in Wilmington has issued a tornado warning for northern Boone County in northern Kentucky. Southwestern Hamilton County and southwestern Ohio until 9 p.m. This is radar indicated at 9.09 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. A severe thunderstorm, Eastern Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm kept producing a tornado was located near Aurora, moving 45 mile per hour to northeast. Locations impacted include Cincinnati, Chevrolet. Lawrenceburg, Aurora, Burlington, Cleves, Shawnee, Taylor Creek, Bridgetown, Delhi Township, Miami Heights, Mack, Delhi Hills, Monfort Heights, Grandview, Addison, North Bend, Dent, Delaware, and Petersburg. So this is headed into some. Um, in, to a very populated area, Cincinnati, Ohio. Yeah, we do have like some did have some debris with this one. I don't see it anymore. Okay, that tornado war is gone. <clears throat> Let me swap over to WSD. Um, yeah. I'm going to go to the Ohio tornado real quick. Alright. Which one did it say was confirmed? Here's this Kentucky tornado. It's heading to Cincinnati. That was in the southwest portion of the county, in the Yale County. Uh, it appears that uh, the tornado warning that is uh, about covering most of the county is also expiring. I don't see a 
take a position on that. The, the rotation is, looks like someone's moved out of the county, uh, but there is still a section uh, northeast of Hector that is still covered in the warning area. Uh, but it looks like the rotation is moved out into the Vampire County. This does not look like it, so. Roger that. I appreciate that, Shane. Uh, we'll keep an eye on it, and I appreciate it. Hey, Stephon is the one down in, um. For the, County, weather night, over. the other one. I'll swap over WSB3. Because this is damage observed, during tornado da damage threat is considerable on this one. And I'll keep watching the other one. If it gets confirmed or anything, I'll let you know. But this is a PDS. Right here is your rotation. This is your rotation right here. Just storm relative. Welcome to the Arkansas River Valley. K five X P. Let's see if we got some on correlation coefficient. Possibly some debris right in this area right now. Well, let go to the scanner too. This is Kilo 5 Bravo Hotel Sierra. The name is Ben Bravo Echo November. We are currently watching a weather system move through Pope County from the, approximately the London area at I 40 wow. through the Hector area. Right now, that area is experiencing heavy rainfall, but there seems to be no rotation indicated. This is K5VHS for the Pope County Weather Node. This scan, I don't see anything on this scan, but we still have a TVS of 8 on the back. Um, low level depth of loss is 83 knots. Which is probably about 86 miles per hour. Maximum delta loss is 89 knots, which is probably about 90 miles, 90, 91 miles per hour. Base height is 4.4 thousand feet. Depth is less than 14 thousand feet. We go to storm relative. You can see here. Hundred mile power, probably a hundred mile power um gate to gate shear on it right now. There's one little speck of a hundred mile an hour winds. I'm gonna you look. Yeah, you can see that. I'm gonna let it stay in here scan. Hey so this is in Oklahoma. I mean um Arkansas. Right now. I don't know if y'all can see those or not, but there's a hundred mile an hour winds in there at this moment, and it's went through a scan. So okay.
Let me go to the other tornado real quick. Um, get news that we're probably got that confirmed. Last station, I have no copy. K5B. Let it pull up. That's where everyone is going in, in Cincinnati. There's not one up there anymore on GR2. We only got the one. One in Arkansas, Van Buren. Van Buren is confirmed. I'm going to remove that down here to Arkansas. That tornado warning is gone. Um, they removed that warning completely up there in um, Ohio. That storm broke apart. But we do have this one confirmed down here in Arkansas. I'll look on Twitter real quick so if I see anything. Yeah, Reed was on this, um, on this earlier. I'm trying to see if there's anything on here. Yeah, no problem, I can do that. Share. If there's anybody on there right now. I don't see anybody there. Alright. All units be advised this is for a severe thunderstorm warning. Again, severe thunderstorm warning. The National Weather Service in Little Rock is. Go back to reflectivity, look at it. Western Van Buren County in north central Arkansas until 9 o'clock p.m. at 8.22. A severe thunderstorm was located 7 miles north of Atkins or 11. I'm going to swap back over GR2 until we get a 3D view of it, see what it looks like. 
Stand by real quick. As I swap over. All right, here we go. Yeah, Pyro, where are you at? Um, hey, you might have a severe thunderstorm, Pyro. Just about some guy at the marina campgrounds, uh, one to one camper down here, and I've been sending severe weather. Uh, okay. We're on GR2 now. But you know I'm drinking coffee, so if I start, you know why. I so said this is the 3D view of this one. And right show impossible touchdown right here. Possibly on the ground right there. Probably this right here. Picking up 57 mile per hour. Outgoing. And about 20 mile per hour incoming. They just placed it up, extended this warning, placed a new warning. Early tornado warnings effect until 9 p.m. Central Daylight Time. For central Van Buren County at 827, a large and extremely dangerous tornado was located near Daney, or 18 miles, 12 miles west of Ken Clinton, moving northeast at 40 miles per hour. This is a PDS tornado. PDS situation taking cover now. Locations impacted include Clinton, Rupert, um, Bluntenburg. All red and Crabtree. So, if you live in those areas, take cover now. There's already been reports of damage with this tornado. It's possibly rain wrapped. There's a big area rotation right here. So, take cover now. We got several severe thunderstorm warnings, but this right here is the only tornado warning we have at the moment. KG5 VFH, the weather net controller. The only warning we have right now that's still active is a thunderstorm warning for Pope County until 9 o'clock. Just reset it a little bit ago. We're going to hang on for a while and uh, see what happens. Yeah, it's still working. It's going off. Everybody should have heard it. And this 
This rotation got a little bit bigger. I'm going to get a 3D view of it. Then I'll get a slice. It's actually what they call a cross section. Let's see if it's got any hail in it. Yeah, a little bit, but not much on the hail core. Rotation has picked up since the last time we looked. Are y'all hearing anything on the radio that's saying? Because I, I can't hear it. I've got it muted on my end. That way it doesn't bleed through the, um, the mic. Honestly, Bella, I don't know which one it is. I got some meat going right now. Welcome to the Arkansas River Valley. K five P X. Let me see which one it is. Uh, it's possible it's um the there's a Skywarn repeater that I'm listening to. KSPXP Skywarn repeater on Broadcastify. That might be the one you hear. Plus, I got the area of fire departments and police departments around there, Bella. It appears this is broadening out a lot. The rotation is broadened out, but it's still confirmed. It's still a PDS situation. Never mind. It's gotten rotation's gotten stronger. It's got a little bit wider. Let me see if I can type it in here, Bella. All I did, Bellas. Bye, Bell. You're old time. You're good. Yeah, you tell this is getting get wrapped up again. It's recycling. Um, but Bella, if you go to Broadcastify on the app. Go to Arkansas. It's on there. Um, 
I looked at the areas where these tornado, Polk County, Logan County, got it there. I got correlation coefficient right here. Here, I'm like, let me do GR, let me do WSV3 correlation coefficient. It's a lot cleaner. I'm going to swap over. Hold on. Let it scan. Let it do a couple scans. It's possible right there might be something. I'm going through the tilts on this right now. Oh yeah, there's 116 lightning strikes right now. Positive lightning strikes in this area. Okay, Sam, thanks. The telemetry took um, off. I'm I don't see anything on dead, on radar scope at this time. I'm looking at it on my TV. Yeah. This is K5PXP, the Arkansas River Valley Amateur Radio Foundation repeater, located on Mount Nebo. All right, this back to radar indicated. Um, I'm gonna go back to reflectivity and look at that. Um, right now we got like a 155 um, positive lightning strikes in the area we're looking at. If I zoom out, it goes up to 200. Okay, Billy, we're watching this. We're in Arkansas watching all this right now. Yes. Guys, I'm going to swap over to GR Earth. I'm going to show you something real quick on GR Earth, rotation-wise, with this storm. That's why he is. I'm going to go ahead and say 73s and back on back to the house. Thank you for checking in and have a safe night. Five FLA, thanks for holding the net bit. Bet we'll be here till the lights go out. No, uh, he. Switch to Clinton one. This is Andy. All right, come on, Fane. Hey, we spoke with Yeah, we spoke with Jarvis. Clinton one, these lives we're getting messages. All right, there we go. All right. We're looking. I'm looking at what they call rotation on our um on GR Earth. This is that tornado, that confirmed tornado cell on GR Earth.
Yes. No. Don't even worry about it. I'm letting him in anyway. I've been working on him for an hour. <laughs> What's it doing down your house? He's in. It's just I, I've been working with that guy for an hour, trying to get him in here. Um. But if you look on this, um. This is that the rotation that's going through that storm at the moment. This is a thousand per second. Yeah, I saw it. Um, there was a actual MCD for snow for heavy snowfall in Nebraska, and it's actually going to move toward Arkansas towards Iowa and everything after all this is over with tonight. That's what's pushing this severe weather is that bottom cycle over there coming this way. That's what radar looks like on this, this tornado warning. There's, there's not one inch hell in this, in this uh, severe thunderstorm warning behind there. There's some rotation in it also. Yeah, the cold front, yeah. Now let's look, zoom out a minute. I'm just taking a quick view. Hold on one second. We'll show you something. Go to. There's the, there's the snow right now that's falling. Behind this front. There's a force of eight. Eight inches, seven inches of snow back there. Right. The camera is reporting he chased a tornado on the ground through Hector. Do you know anything about that? KF5 LPW. It's about a WSB3. They have pulled the PDS off of it at this moment. Um, it's now just back to radar indicated. KF5 LPW. Yeah, it's been a good first day of spring for me. So, got we got two severe thunderstorms down here. They're saying tornado possible. Yeah, we're going to keep an eye on as this line moves into Arkansas. All right, they got strong rotation. They said take shelter now. I just I had turned it up where I could hear it. This back here is just radar reflectivity, radar interference. It's nothing to be worried about. It's not a debris ball or anything at the moment. There's still strong rotation right here in this storm. 
56. But we still got some strong rotation so with this. That. And that spectrum wheel, you can see it right there. Showing about 25 mile per hour right there. Twenty-four, twenty-five miles per hour. It's in knots, but and it just picked up a little bit. So right where we saw all that. KF5 MLK, K5 VHS. You could have reported that to me, and I just didn't remember. Is this very possible? That's okay. You got there for a little bit, but. Uh, this is the second time, at least, we've heard there's a little bit of trash up on There's where your rotation is at this moment. We're firing at rock now, and I think the rain is coming. Okay, I'm going to just go ahead and uh, let that siren time out, and uh, if it's off, that's good. I'm looking at something real quick. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, sorry about that. Um, like I said, we got a large air rotation right here. We got another TVS that's popped up in this lower storm about reflectivity. TVS of six, lower level delta velocity is 56 knots, maximum delta velocity is 70, 70 knots. We'll pull it back up on GR2, see what we're seeing in 3D. GR2 still has it, it's confirmed. Um, you know, it's radar indicated. They're still showing it as confirmed. Still from Van Buren County till eight till um a couple more minutes on this morning. But as you tell, this thing is still spinning really good right there. Polygon for the tornado warning for the city of Clinton. That's 10-4. Second storm coming in. Uh, it's coming in that direction, too. 10-4. I suppose thinking there was a second coming behind it. Was that a Kilo Charlie 5 Alpha Hotel Oscar? Alright, let's grab a 3D version of this. Back up a little bit, Brad. I just wanted to make sure I had your call sign written down correctly. Thanks for the report. Jason, can you hear me? Yeah, you got it right. And the name is Butch Bravo Uniform Tango Charlie Hotel. Yeah, it is. 
Roger, Roger, thanks again. It's definitely there. They just had a severe thunderstorm warning to it also. That's why the services issued a uh, Blow Rocks issue severe thunderstorm warning for Stone County, East Central Sears, Searcy County, Van Buren County, Northern Claiborne, Northern Conway until 9. 30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. A severe thunderstorm was located over Clinton, moving east at 50 miles per hour. Um, 60 mile per hour wind gust and quarter size hail. Hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include. Heber Springs, Clinton, Greens, Pe Greens Ferry, Concord, uh, Jerusalem, Blanchard Springs Campground, Claude, Elba, Clauston, Beverage Town, Mountain View, Fairfield Bay, Shirley, Heighton, Sugarloaf Recreation Park, Fairfield Bay Marina, Cleveland, Olexton, B Breach, and Allison. Tornado watch still remains in effect till 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time. So maybe this will not be an all night event. But we're picking up some broke measure detection back here with a threshold of eight. If you're in Old Lexington, you might be experiencing some damaging winds right now. Straight line damaging winds. This storm is getting an updraft right now. I'm trying to look at it real quick. There's the updraft. There's the hell core that's dropping hell at this moment. Right now in this storm. Okay, Pyro, stay safe. We'll be here. There's some rotation off where that um, hill core is. This may go tornado warning. We're going to watch it. Mostly. We're going to watch it right here because if you're in Scotland, take cover now. There's possibly a, I would say a tornado could possibly be on the ground in Scotland. I'll look at the um, rotation that's coming out of it at this moment. Cross section of it. There you can see the hell core right now in it. So how it is locked to that hell up. I don't see anything of correlation coefficient on this storm. Let's swing it this way. Isn't that way. Oh, 
Like I said, you can see this hill for how tall it is right now. It's locked in the hill all the way up to almost 30,000 feet. That's how high the hill is coming down. Is right now. All right, the tornado warning has dropped on this storm. They have let it. They have removed the tornado warning. Like I said, we're gonna stay right in this area because I got a feeling this one around Clinton, Scotland, he's gonna go tornado warning next. If I need me to check anywhere else for the moment, I will. Um, while since this tornado warning is gone, we don't have any tornado warnings. No night box. Yeah. I said this has got a pretty big size. We got several severe thunderstorm warnings here. Dark saw. We'll grab another 3D view of this. Is there any uh, reports on the development coming out of the southwest over? I was just fixing to call you. We be on hail. Good. They're reporting hell now there. There's a new TVS marker just popping up on that previous tornado warned area right where it was earlier. So we're probably going to have another tornado warning right here from, one, from this storm. Possibly go.
They said a flood warning for here. These storms not move, are moving pretty fast, but the thing is, they're going over previously um, areas that's got rain. It's just so much falling right now that it's really adds to the flash flood warnings. I'm going to go back down to one panel until it goes, we'll get something else. Look at mean health. It's the very health size here. Yeah, we got one inch hill over Scotland, just passed through Scotland. Look at it, Rot. At this time, no one checked in with Rescue Joe. We're showing a little bit of that rotation right there. I'm just going through this through the different. Rotation is very broad right now. Not well defined as it was earlier on the storm. Rotation right now again. To the hell core has actually dropped down some, it's not as bad as it was. It's still one inch hail be reported, but not as bad as it was earlier. Well, a while ago it was up 30,000 feet, now it's just barely 15,000 feet for the Hill core. So if there's 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, Hill core is barely getting above 15,000 feet. So it's not being lofted up as high, making it as big. Arkansas, Texas, Texas. Do we still only have one wreck? We're behind Clinton Fire Department right now. Do they have something going on? Ooh, I'm going to look at this. Storm near. 
Catalina, Texas. Mitt County. I'm going to go down here and look at this storm in Mitt County, Texas. Rescue 6, Andrew, Because it's got a large help for it. Rescue 6, Andrew, Rescue 6, Andrew, Rescue 6, Upper level rotation. Um, this storm's got important two inch hail. So, uh, uh, like, uh, uh, yeah, now this one's got, um, uh, thank you for that report. Uh, please let us know. Arkansas, okay. Never mind. I understand that has not hit the ground. One back up in Arkansas. Right where we were looking at. Finally went warm. I won't go away from it. All right. National Weather Service. Out of Little Rock has issued a tornado warning for Central Conway, Northeastern Yale, Southeastern Pope County until 9.45 Central Daylight Time. At 9.06 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm can produce a tornado was located near Bosley, 10 miles northeast of Danville, moving northeast at 45 miles per hour. This is radar indicated at this time. It, areas impacted include Russellville, Atkins, Carlton Bottoms, um, Parrot Jean, Jean River, WMA, Mosley, Hola Bend, Mount George, Centerville, Oak Grove, in Polk County, Darrenville, Pottsville, Happy Bend, Gala Creek, WMA, Mount Nebor State Park, Blackwell, Chicala, and Economy. The 3D version of it. If I get all that out. See, there's a little bit of hell with it. There's rotation. Is showing at this moment. This is K5 PXP, the Arkansas River Valley Amateur Radio Foundation uh -huh. repeater, located on Mount Nebo. We're going to stay on this for a minute and watch it. I'm going to go to um, Correlation Coefficient. See if I see anything. Maybe a little something right there near Danielville. Sneaky.
Yeah, right there in Darden, Darnell, there may be a, may be some debris showing at this moment. I'm watching it. Um, and it is moving right now. Like this is gonna be in effect until nine forty. We're watching tonight. this right here. This might be a debris ball at the moment. If you're in Dardanell, take cover now. There's possibly a tornado on the ground in Dar going into Darnell at this moment. If you know anybody, alert them. There's possibly some debris right now on the ground. Do a cross section with the. Seventy-one. Uh, now on dispatch, medical. Have to back up on CC. Seventy-one. Yes. Yeah, Lofted, possibly being lofted up about 15,000 feet. Let me slide forward a little bit. Yeah, that's actually moving. So that's probably a debris ball right there. It's Like I said, it's going up about 15,000 feet on this storm right now. So right there's probably some debris. So if you're involved in this area or you know anybody in this area, call them, alert them, let them know that's what's going on. Um, we purposely set off the sirens in Russellville, and the sirens also went off in Dover because it's a close area. But the warning... So like I said, we have... I didn't catch that. Could you repeat that? Uh, yeah, I say, just shall we disregard the sirens in? For now, you can disregard the siren if you live in Dover. Okay, thank you. I'll be in here if you need me. I'm on a handheld right now. I was out in my truck before, and I got hit by I'm actually letting her um, public safety talk, and we can hear what's going on. All right. Stay safe out there. KF5 MLP between Jerusalem and headed towards uh, between Moreland. It looks like rotation is starting up up in that area. Uh, so they may want to extreme heavy warning. Extreme heavy warning. Looks like it's starting to spin up. KF5 MLP. New tornado warning. And that might. Hold on. KF5 MLP. Are you catching the. Okay, I had to sneeze. Sorry. I heard anybody's ears. I'm sorry. National Weather Service, Little Rock, Arkansas, has issued a tornado warning for Van Buren County in Central Arkansas, Northeastern Conway County in Central Arkansas, and East Central Pope County in Central Arkansas until 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time. A 9.13 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Excuse me. Uh, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Jerusalem, or 40 miles northeast of Russellville, moving at 40 mile per hour tornado, and, and the quarter size hail was radar indicated. Locations impacted include Clinton, Claude, Clocktaw, Chalk Clocktaw, Beverage Town, Brock Creek Campground, Chili Pepper, um, K, um, Cagelsville, Oak Grove, in Pipe, Pope County, Jerusalem, Cleveland, Appleton, Austin, and Col Conway County, Scotland, Formosa, and Crabtree. If you're in this area, take cover now. I'm going to go back to basic reflectivity, and we can see it a little bit better. 
been extended until 10 o'clock p.m. tonight. Tell you what, I'm going to put the 3D on this, and then we're going to swap over to WSB3. Because I can see it, see correlation will fish so much better on WSV3. All units, you cancel this wreck. You can cancel this wreck. The vehicle is going to be in Thurston County. All units can cancel this wreck. Just like cancel the leave action service. Okay, yeah, we're I'm showing WSB3 at the moment. Just pop over in a second. I'm looking to see if I see any radar, see anything correlation coefficient. Thanks, moving on for a second. Oh. Right now, I don't see anything. So it may have went back up. May not be on the ground right now. This is KD5 VFA. The National Weather Service in Little Rock has issued a updated 20 hour warning rain, for strong winds, and we are Central still under Vampire an County, active North tornado Central Arkansas watch in Polk County. Until 10 o'clock p.m., severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located tornado near warning. Jerusalem or Pardon 14 me. miles northeast of Russellville. Oh. Locations of impact include. Here's a TBS on this tornado warning right here. Let's go to um, Storm Relative. This is a tornado warning for central Van Buren County in north central Arkansas until 10 o'clock p.m. All units, please monitor your radios for further weather updates. Time one dispatch is clear. Right here. Let me tell a story. Let me pan out. KB5JTT, just south of Atkins Monitoring. Right here will be the rotation at this time in this storm. It's tracking this way. The rotation in this one, probably back here, covered up all this lightning. And it's going like that, that way. So these are tracked to the northeast. Copy that. KF5 MLP. Storm uh, is uh, probably right around the airport, headed for uh, probably uh, between the airport and Foxville. Uh, looks like it's, it's uh, going that direction. The one up. Uh, Let me know what y'all think about that. I just tilted it a little bit. Like I said, right here is the main air rotation going through 
Go, just went through Russellville, crossed over I-40. Thank you for your report. Stay safe out there. Medic 70 said that we got TBS going through Darnell's, 70, go ahead. Darnell, Darnell right now. Just information only, sir. There's going to be multiple areas of standing of water on Highway 95 West. 10 4. Copy. Standing water, 95 West. Thank you. All right, they shorten that radar up, that um, morning up, because it's done moved through. But it's still, you see the major area rotation right here, still going on I-40. And then up here, the rotation, I don't know that county name right now, it's heading towards Clinton. Um, There it is on Storm Relative. You can see it really good right now. Um, Pottsville's get, if you're in Pottsville, you need to be in your shelter or lowest part of your home because it's on top of you at this moment in Pottsville. And also you can see air rotation right there. I don't have a town listed. I think I'm about to make me some more coffee. Give me from yawning. Right, let's go over here to this like two is what it looks like. We do have a TBS inside there. Uh, it's just reflectivity. I thought it was, but it's not. No, this TBS is gone. It was inside this storm. I don't think it's in the tornado watch yet. Nope, still 
10 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Still watching this, at least to the radar, the radio traffic, see if they say anything. This is KF5 MLP. That storm that uh, was between uh, Knoxville and uh, Russellville is north of the freeway. It is dissipated. It's more of a wind event now. KF5 MLP. Thank you for the field report. Sounds like one of our little storms between Thanks, somebody just said that it has dissipated a little bit once it crossed the freeway, which was I-40 there in Pottsville. But Clinton's going to get hit again um, by this rear storm in probably another hour. It's going to track right into Clinton also. Got several thunderstorm warnings here. It says tornado possible on them. Number one dispatch to all units. Stand by for announcement uh, per local media. Take a quick break. I'm gonna leave the the radio. I'm gonna turn the radio up a little bit, but I'll be back in a few minutes. Uh, this is KF5 MLP. It looks like the, uh, the back so I'll be right back. Storm is uh, right at the uh, county line. Uh, uh, here in Sparksville. So if uh, Sparksville is clear, where the rain goes. So it looks like it's moving. Uh, it may be a little bit before we get out of this line totally, but it's, uh, it's clearing up behind us. Stay by the Thank you for your report. Radar makes it look like a storm's moving to the northeast, so that sounds good. No, ask us 12. Copy. Thank you. to the Arkansas River Valley. K5PXP repeater PL code 131.8 
Okay, we have a new tornado warning. I just came right back. So let me get to it. KD5ZFH. This is the WeatherNet controller. We still have about 30 minutes left of our active tornado, um, tornado warning. warning for East Central Stone County in North Central Arkansas, Northwestern Independence County in North Central Arkansas. Arkansas South Central, hold on, I don't want to say this county wrong, Izzard County in North Central Arkansas and Southwestern Sharp County in North, North Central Arkansas until 1015 Central Daylight Time. At 928 Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm cape producing tornado was located over Herple near Mountain View moving northeast at 45 miles per hour. Location impact include Mountain View, Cave City, Sydney, Herple, Lundberg, Coker, Evening Shade, Maxwell, Sage, Twin Creek, Melbourne, Mount Pleasant, Gid, Stella, Brandenburg, Lone Star, Quito, Zion, Lafferty, Selane. Take cover now. Even though it has not been confirmed, there is a tornado warning at this moment for your area. So there's, we have three active tornado warnings at this time. I'm going to start looking at correlation coefficient, I mean, um, base velocity. This one's still got some rotation right there, not much. This has got broadened out pretty good bit. Uh, that's probably the rotation they're picking up right there in Guyon. The storm relative. Yeah, right there is from where the, they're getting the warning. There's the rotation right in this, right here around Guyon. And there's radar feedback right there. So we can't tell at the moment if there's anything actually there. Oh. Well, give a jump and I forgot to take the This is Arkansas. We're looking at Arkansas right now. Uh, I'm gonna scope over GR2. We'll put some 3D on this. Look at it that way. All right, we're gonna start right here with the guy tornado. I'm gonna pull up four panels. That way, if something changes, I can look. I can see it. This is the one that's heading towards Evening Shade, Sydney, Mount Pleasant, Sage, Melbourne, Cave City. Let's see, there may be something here. It's a broad air rotation at this moment on this storm. All right.
that appendage right there may be trying to come down. We'll look at it in just a second. I'm going to scoot down to the other two tornado warnings. And look, especially this one. Well, we got a nice couplet here and right there. Uh, I was just checking the radios to make sure they're all still going. This might be the rotation right here in Scotland. There's a lot of rotation in this storm. You got the one down here near Cleveland, then you got it up here near Scotland. Right here, Jerusalem. This is the rotation they're seeing down there in Jerusalem right now. Because that storm was passed out of the backside, this tornado warning is following right through this one. You can't see the rotation here on because the severe thunderstorm line is covering it up. But that's what we're looking at right there. So I see any debris looking at I don't see anything. Anything on Polish or Fish Shores right now. Right now we have two tornado warnings, active tornado warnings. We also have a flash flood warning that has been in effect and should last until midnight. Bob. Arkansas River Valley Amateur Radio Foundation Clinton, repeater located on Mount Nebo. West of Hector, no, east of Hector at TVS. I'm picking up a blue icon on the radar scope. Let me know if you see the same thing. Correlation coefficient. It's the back, it's east of Hector in the tornado warning on the great radar scope. There's a TVS marker yeah, right beside it. I just need a double, double check. You don't see Hector. Okay. You see Scotland, Cleveland. Okay, it's the west of Scotland. Okay. I think we may have a debris ball right here. It's bright blue. And it is moving with this storm. That's what's got me. 
the thinking is possible. I'm looking at it on the slice. Whatever it is, it lofted up about 15,000 feet on the. Okay, we may be near that storm then. James. This is the brain problem. You see where Everton is. Sydney, Cushman. Yeah. I don't see ever. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's not empty hole. It's definitely it's definitely something right there. Um you know James, which storm is he on? I can't look at him on this. Oh but I can't on my phone. I got bread on my phone. I can't have that in my ear. Uh, middle of the north box. Okay. Negative. What sure. storm is this? The one I'm looking at right now? Or the top one? Okay. Yeah, I see it.
Oh, I see it now. We may have two. We may have two areas on. We may have two here on the. We may have two tornadoes on this one. It's very possible. Yeah, look at this. They actually have two. I'll let it pull up. The reason I'm saying this, um, if you look at it, I got two major areas of rotation that's pulling up, that's pointing up. Um, we got one right here and then one possibly back here. Hey, Ronald. So we got. Oh, wow. That near Mount Pleasant is getting very, very broad. Let me do a 3D on that one while I'm right here.
We still have these two tornado warrants right now. I'm in between Barrow and Eureka. Uh, um, in this area, it's probably the tornado potential is dying out. Um, but that does not mean the tornado potential for other areas. Um, so Coming from Everton, it could possibly get bridge. extended. Last driveway on the left before you get to the bridge. Did you um, say so you would check that? Just fine. Yeah, check with us. Coming out of Everton towards Mary. Get a sighting on the There's a driveway on the left. So right, right now, looking at it. Okay. It, it does appear to be dying out so um okay looking on radar 50 to 1 it doesn't look as defined as it was earlier myself and 15 checked so every road they may let it expire had any damage um on 206 between the uh, there's still a tornado warning, I mean, tornado watch okay, in you. Illinois, in, in, in Kentucky, until 12 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. And there's also a tornado watch in Iowa and Missouri, northwest, southeast Iowa, and north. Northern Missouri until midnight. So there's still a couple more tornado watches out hey, there. Um, Ten four back to twenty-four. But it does appear that most of the storms are dying out at this time. Um, we'll okay. stick around uh, for a little while. See what, see what happens. Like I said, I'm we're still here. here. Um, watching these. Do we have a name of people? Yes, Um, I'm reading a measure discussion right now. See what it says. It was done at 8:36 p.m. Central Daylight Time, which was 9:36 my time, concerning this area of where the tornado watch, tornado warnings are. Um, So we're just going to watch and see, see what happens. Um, Max, for six, back to County, 10 7, 10 42. 10 4, Max, for six. Have a good night, gentlemen. You too. Okay, we're just going to watch and see what happens. full 3D view of this Mount Pleasant tornado. The tornado watch will expire before these warnings expire, I believe. I'm not sure. The map's quite a lot behind these apartments. There's still a lot of rotation in this upper storm near Mount View, even in shade. So if you're in that area, please take cover now. And they're probably going to let this this tornado warning expire since it, the storms have moved out of the this storm. 
Your case number Move down the, the warrant area. It expires. Um, in about three minutes, both of them I think expire at ten o'clock. Yeah. This one expires at. 10:15. So, but they may pull this warning off since the storm has moved out of the warned area. And I'll go to GR show we'll talk about um, with these storms, where the squall line, the line looks right now. I've got the latest SPC pulled up on here also. That way you'll see what's, what it's got. Um, so they were not wrong placing enhanced risk here. Um, still questioning the one up in Iowa. Um, but they placed the 10% enhanced, uh, enhanced risk for tornadoes right here. There's a 2 and 5% for Iowa. I gotta go back to the SPC. Uh, they should be the top phone you have. Yes, yeah, Send me a DM in Discord and let me know what top phone you got. Hey, you. Send a 309 after show. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Lather, this doesn't have a lot of rotation on the storm at this moment. Um, like I said, they're probably going to let this all cancel out. Right now, quarter, quarter inch hell possible right here. Thank you. Well, there's a kind of a hidden driveway right up here. But the tornado watch is not being removed from this I'm yet. Okay, new tornado watch. The SBC has issued a tornado watch in portion of central Arkansas, southern Illinois, 
southern Indiana, western Kentucky, southeast Missouri, northwest Tennessee, affected until Thursday night and Friday morning from 9.50 p.m. until 4 a.m. So they have extended the tornado watch to 4 a.m. for this area. Primary threat includes a few tornadoes likely with a couple intense tornadoes possible. Scatter damaging wind gusts up to 70 mph are likely. Scatter large hail events and events inch and a half in diameter possible. Summary, a line of intense thunderstorm over central Arkansas will, will track eastward across the watch area overnight. Extremely strong wind fields will promote a risk of tornadoes and locally damaging wind gusts. The tornado watch area is approximately well, 65 miles east and west of a line from 35 miles south of Hot Springs, Arkansas, to 35 miles northeast of Owensboro, Kentucky. Remember, a tornado watch means conditions are favorable for tornadoes and severe thunderstorms in and close to the watch areas. Persons in these areas should be on lookout for threatening weather conditions and listen for latest latest gate statements and possible warnings hmm. probability of two or more tornadoes is at 60 percent Severe wind events, probability of 10 or more severe wind events is 60%. One or more wind events, excess of 65 knots, 20%. Probability of 10 or more severe hail events, 50%. Probability of one or more hail events greater than 2 inches, 10%. Probability is six or more combined severe hail wind events is 90%. They're thinking the possible max hail size would be about one inch and a half. Wind gusts at the surface is 60 knots, which would be about 65 miles per hour. This is this is not a PDS tornado watch. Okay, not a PDS tornado watch. So they did extend it to 4 a.m. Hmm. So we have extended this tornado watch until four AM. I said we're going to be here for a while. Um, I'm waiting till this tornado warning goes goes away.
It's got about another seven minutes on it. Right. I'll be honest with you guys. I really don't see a, the threat increasing in this area for the night. But it all depends on that low-level jet. Um, but you see where they've extended this tornado watch to um, just west of Memphis, Jackson, Tennessee, um, Pine Bluff, Arkansas. Um, hot springs hot springs arkansas right now is about to get a line of storms moving into it um, once that line has gone through hot springs you're pretty much in the clear for the night um, and once this line moves through the area they'll probably start um, shrinking the tornado watch down If this storm looks like it's kept falling apart right now. You look at it, on, let's go GR3. Um, WSB3. I mean, it looks rough on WSV3 because it, it uses the NEXRAD system. NEXRAD is a better radar system. This tornado warning has got five more minutes left on it. Twenty two ten. I said, I'm going to see if this dies out any anymore. Um, so we still got this one tornado warning. Very small near K Spring. I don't see anything on correlation coefficient at this time. Um, I was in correlation official on on G on I don't see any at this time. So.
Just waiting on this one storm to end right now. And it's got like two minutes left on it. Well, if another one pops up. If another one doesn't pop up, I'm probably going to end the stream. Um, but I will, if it gets bad again, I will come back on. Um, we'll be tracking in our Discord. rest of the night so like I said I'll be watching this Okay. All right. They just released stop, uh, remove this tornado warning. And I'll go down to Texas and look at that. We find the radar site. Uh, I know that could be it. Corpus Christi. Oh, there we go. Brackettville. All right, there we go. Yep, I'm on it now. Yeah, I see there's a severe thunderstorm warning for it right now. Um, Yeah, that's got some three inch hail in it. This, uh, yeah, this storm's got three inch hail inside of it right now. I'll show you on, um, radar. At this moment, there are no active severe thunderstorm warnings in Arkansas, Indiana, Illinois, Iowa, Missouri. They're all flash flood warnings. Remember, turn around, don't drown if you're in those areas. The only added severe thunderstorm warning we have right now is the one in South Texas. Like I said, I'm, I'm actually going to pull that up on GR2 to show you the hell core in that. This is showing three inch hail. Let it pull up on air.
I'm going to do the slice in that at the same time. There's the hell core of the storm. It is locked in the hell about 20,000 feet right now. I don't know if this will show both things. Let's we'll see if it's going to show show you both the slice and the um. Yeah, do you see the slice at the bottom? Thought I made where you you can see both of them. Yes. Major hell for right now. All right. Well, I'm going to end the stream and then go in Discord. Hang out for a little while. I may actually go on to the um go into the um general chat for a little while and talk. I'm gonna take a quick break. Um so but I appreciate everybody coming by, joining us tonight. Um, I wouldn't mean people in here, but it was something. Um, again, thanks for watching. Um, just like I said, join me, in, join me in Discord, and I'll um, I'll be in there just a few minutes. I'm gonna give you something to drink. And I'll do, I'll go into the um general voice chat in a little while and hang out for for a bit. Talk to you later. Bye.